It's a sketch comedy podcast show. It's a sketch comedy podcast show. Welcome to Sketch Comedy Podcast Show, the unique show where I, Stuart Rice, have a conversation with an interesting person and then make an improvised comedy sketch based on something we talked about. New episodes are released somewhat weekly, with one episode being the conversation and the next episode being the sketch and us recording that sketch. If you would like to join in the fun, please visit sketchcomedypodcastshow.com and you can get access to all of our episodes, find links to subscribe, and even apply to be on the show. Enjoy the show. We enjoyed making it. Thank you so much for the download. Goff, how are you? Yes. How are you? Is it. Mo- it, it's a morning? Is it evening? I can't ever tell. Uh, well, I've just had me lunch, so it's uh, it's just after early afternoon. Okay, so it's it's earlier in the day there. It It is currently dark out for me, so it's nighttime here. But that must mean one thing. Goff, where are you? Where am I? Yeah, where are you? Well, I'm I'm currently, uh, I'm just currently in my office. So, uh, yeah, yeah, just just good work. Your office is obviously not in America. It's it's in Australia, right? Oh, sorry, mate. I didn't know where you were going. (laughs) I I didn't didn't telegraph that too well. I'm I'm over here on the sunny Gold Coast in Australia. Excellent. So good. So uh, maybe not everybody heard heard your episode, but they should. They should go back and check check your episode out for sure. Well, that that's it. There was nothing but witty banter between you and me for the entire entire forty five minutes. It was great. Um, <laughs> so, uh, um, but you've got something out. You've got a new thing. What is it? Absolutely, absolutely. We've just released a, a brand new film project called. A Day in the Life of a Personal Trainer, and it's a mockumentary pretty much about the fitness industry and ripping the uh, the fitness industry and the, the personal training industry apart. So, yeah, it's a, uh, a comedy film making fun of all the uh, all the fitness people out there. So hopefully uh, people can get a, a, a bloody good laugh out of that. It's, uh, it, is, it is very funny because uh, in a lot of what those things are – you didn't realize might be true, but after watching, I have a feeling like anybody who's a personal trainer will enjoy watching it because they're like, yep, that's exactly how it is. And everybody who's not a personal trainer will go, yeah, that's how I thought it was. <laughs> yeah, well, well, yeah, well, the, the, uh, the main character, Jackie Cooper, is actually based on a woman that used to work at my gym. I know it's hard because you've seen the film. I know it's hard for you to believe that there could actually be a person like that alive and in real life, but there actually is. And yeah, after a couple of months of knowing her at my gym, I'm like, man, I've got to write you down. So I, I wrote down her sort of personality and character, and that's how, how the film sort of started out. So yeah, it is actually, uh, believe it or not, based on an actual personal trainer. Wow. That's... Uh... Yeah, once people see the see the video, uh, they'll understand my reaction to <laughs> the fact that that might actually be a human being that really existed. Um, I could see it if it was like fifty people came forward with their story, and each one of them had a little bit. But man, one person did all that. Crazy. Um, yeah, no, she she was mad. But look, I, I liked her. I thought she was amazing. It was one of the only people. Well, probably the only person on this planet who could yell and abuse me, and I'd be like. All right, fair enough. I'll, I'll I'll take that. Okay, that's cool. But uh, yeah, no, she uh, she was a a bit of a, a crazy lady. So well, that's why I say she just. Uh, I thought like after I like I say after a couple of months, I was like, I, I just have to write you down. It's just such a outrageous personality. I just have to write you down. And so and so after I'd sort of written her down, I was like, okay, well, how am I going to make this work? into a film project so I, I thought well the best way to do it is probably more of a day in the life kind of a, a look at how she gets along through her day from the moment she wakes up to the moment she goes to bed so that's uh, that's how I sort of came up with how to best uh, best put her into a, a film situation yeah it's it's so great um, it reminds me actually watching it I was like yeah this is this is sort of like if someone told you a story about when they were a personal trainer and then they did this show, but they did the sketch for far for a really long time, you know. 
it's, it, it kind of felt like that. Like it was the silly part of it, reality. It was really cool. Oh, um, well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so when you were casting it, did when did you already have someone in mind when you cast that role? Or was that something? No, I actually had so much trouble finding my lead actor. You got It took three different casting sessions. I reckon I went through, oh, I reckon at a guess I would say about 30 different actors before I found the right one because a, a lot of people just weren't sort of – it's hard to hard – to, some people weren't getting the joke of the whole piece, but also – other people were just like, they just thought that yelling was the way to go, which it isn't. I mean, there's more to her than just yelling at people. You know, she, she's she got uh, different uh, monologues and different moods and feelings going on there as well. So there was a, it was it was a really hard process to find her. But then when Katie came in, she uh, she came in dressed up as a personal trainer and she, she did get the joke straight away. She absolutely understood it. And she just came in and she hit the audition out of the park and, I was like, yeah, you've, you've got the part. That's fantastic. But, yeah, it, it took a long time to find the right actor because, yeah, it's just – it's not – look, it's not an easy role to play and she's in pretty much every scene. So it's uh, it was really tricky for her. But, look, as, as you saw, I mean, she did an absolutely outstanding job. I mean, when we were filming, her energy levels were up all the time. She was absolutely fantastic. And – I think it shows on camera. She did an absolutely outstanding job. Yeah, I, I totally agree. That's why it's um, it's cool. It, I almost thought you had somebody because it was so good. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, absolutely. But look, that's the thing. I remember chatting to Simon, my production man, and uh, it was after the second day of castings, and he's like, "Well, you got to pick somebody." And I'm like, well, I'm not just going to have somebody for the sake of it. They need to be able to do it, you know, otherwise the film's not going to be any good. So I need to find the right person. So, you know, and the, the all the uh, talent agencies around here, they didn't like me very much because I just kept saying no to all their, their actors. I'm like, no, no, no. And they're like, well, who do you want? We've got nobody left. And I'm like, well, I need to find somebody. And then they came up with Katie for me. And, yeah, she just hit it out of the park. So, yeah, it was a... It was, and, and like I say, it is a tricky role for her to play, but she she absolutely absolutely nailed it. Yeah, it was fantastic. Now the other question I've got for uh, production because I'm always curious about the production. And you did the direction on this video as well. That's correct. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you do the writing, the directing. Yep, and, writing, yeah, directing, you, producing. I, I catered it, and uh, but uh, you know, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I was going <laughs> to ask, did you cater it? <laughs> <laughs> that's fantastic but yeah no no so when i write a script I, I never really understand to be honest a lot of writers that don't direct their material because when i write a script i've got in my head you know how i want this to to sound and how i want the actors to to deliver my jokes and all that sort of stuff so i think it makes perfect sense for me to then direct the work because after all you know nobody knows these characters and the situations they're in better than me. So it seems to make just perfect sense. Absolutely. So I, I've got to ask the, the uh, picture at the end of the, the video. Oh, yes. Who drew it? Who drew that one? That's uh, Becky, who's who does a lot of our artwork here at Beer Nuts Productions. She's an incredible, incredible artist. And she actually, uh, she was a tattoo artist for about 10 years in a in a real uh, hippie kind of part of Australia called uh, just out of Byron Bay called uh, Nimbin and Nimbin's where you go if you want your pot cookies or anything like that it's it's kind of the place to be is Nimbin and so you get all your 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 hippie people and all that kind of stuff and so she was a tattoo artist out there for a while and I've known Becky since oh well, well since I was at high school is when I first met Becky and so uh, she's an incredible artist and so whenever I need some uh, artwork done i usually uh, i usually contact her and she uh, does it great and yeah that that uh, that sketch at the end of the film she absolutely nailed it it looks uh, nice and creepy which is exactly what i want <laughs> yes that's what I, I didn't want to say it if it was like i drew it i didn't want to be like oh you did a great job of like hitting that right mark of someone who really cares but maybe <laughs> is just a little too creepy <laughs> so so it's good that's well, that was the well, intent yeah, i think it, 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 uh, you hit it 
I, I, I would hope as well that uh, you like the casting of the stalker because I think uh, he comes across as nice and creepy as well, which, <laughs> is, which is good. Super creepy. <laughs> so yeah, no, I, I think I've got problems when we edit. Uh, when we edit the film, Simon, my production man, he and I edit it together, and he just looks at me sometimes and he goes, "Goff, you are a bad, bad man." I'm like, "Yes, yes, I know, I know." <laughs> well, we wouldn't have you any other way. Um, <laughs> so the movie, just just so people know, it's the video is uh, a day in the life of a personal trainer. And if you've ever been to a personal trainer or you've ever been a personal trainer, you will get something out of this. Because uh, I know what... I've experienced some of that from the receiving end. And uh, <laughs> that's why I don't go to gyms. That's why I'll be continually well, 10 I... pounds overweight for the rest of my life. Well, well, I mean, it depends. I mean, for some of the characters, it works out really well for them. And for others, not so well. Right. So, I mean, there's swings and roundabouts as to who you are, really. <laughs> that's true. So true. And you've got a whole bunch of other stuff as well on your website. That's, that's right. Beernutsproductions.com is where people go to to download this particular film, A Day in the Life of a Personal Trainer, like you said. Yeah, Beernutsproductions.com, they can download that film. And then we actually have 14 other films on the website, plus eight audio downloads, which are like 20-minute uh, comedy sketches, which uh, people have really enjoy the, uh, the audio stuff. And uh, we've got five books as well. So, uh, yeah, there's tons of stuff on Beernutsproductions.com for – for people to be entertained by. So after they've watched uh, the latest film, hopefully they'll uh, they'll go back and they'll download uh, one of our other films or one of the audio projects. So yeah, there's there's uh, we've got tons of stuff up there now, which is really really cool. So and it's all completely independent, and uh, so there's no third party involvement at all. So I've got no you know studios or anybody like that telling me what I can and can't do. So it's all totally fresh, totally original stuff over at BeerNutsProductions.com. I love it. I love it. I love, uh, I actually love everything that you do. Thanks so much. <laughs> no, th thank you so much. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I enjoy the podcast and you keep up the great work as well, Stuart. All right. Well, we'll keep doing it and then, uh, we'll catch up with you later. Fantastic. Thanks, man. Thank you. Hey, thank you again for listening to sketch comedy podcast show. I hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, I find it a little odd. You're still here listening to it. You're kind of a weirdo, aren't you? I would love to hear from you. So please come visit us at sketchcomedypodcastshow.com where you can get links to leave those great reviews, connect to us on social media, see all of the great artwork that no one ever really gets to see, check out all of the guests that we've had on the show, and even get a phone number if you would like to leave a message and we will play it on the show. Also, don't be shy. Come be on the show! Check out the link at the top of SketchComedyPodcastShow.com for the Be a Guest link and have a conversation with me. Sketch Comedy Podcast Show is protected under a Creative Commons non-derivative 4.0 international license and is copyright 2018 Marathon Productions, LLC. Thanks again and see you next week.